What's up? It's Wizard Foo, and I got another video for you in the Low Dragger 5 vs. 5 game development series. I'm excited about having the camera rotation finally work so I can rotate the camera along the Z axis on like a 45 degree angle, 90 degree angle, and all the pixels and the voxel buffers and everything works out so that it actually works, but only for 45 degree angles so far. I can't quite figure out the right camera offset for things other than 45 degrees, like 20 degrees or 37 degrees or something like that. Let's check it out, though. Um, also, I'm going to be doing this with an ease movement, so when you can rotate the camera, it'll actually do a sweet little sine, cosine, in and out, uh, you know, slow it down to move just, like, really smoothly. So here we are. We're at, like, uh, I think this is 90 degrees. Here's... Yeah, here's... Okay, here's zero. Let's go... That's 45 degrees, there's 90, there's 135, 270, um, 315, and 360, yeah, zero, nope, you know what I mean, there's 315, there's 360, okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> Besides basic math, which is really challenging to do, um, it's all working. You notice that the player's shadow doesn't ever change, and that's not because the shadow math is wrong, but because I haven't, I'm not updating the shadow ray yet. So, and you know, there's still lots left to do. I'm really curious. I don't know why it does these big black squares on the ground when, like, it rotates a model. It doesn't quite work. Um, but if I start off the game at a, at a zero degree angle, then all the 90s seem to work. So the 45s have those black dots, but I'll show you what I mean. If I start off at a 45 degree angle, there'll be some black dots again on the ground. Uh, but this time, if I switch back to zero degrees, it doesn't smooth all the pixels. Check this out. See that? So it looks totally different. And then if I go here, now we've got some crazy empty pixels there, voxels. So this has to be figured out. That's probably just something simple. And then I finally came up with an idea, too, to rotate models um, properly and make them look good no matter what the angle. So all i got to do is figure out how to rotate it at 45 degrees um, accurately. And I know it can be done because I've seen Magic of Voxel rotate things on a 45 degree plane and everything looks great. You know, on the Z plane, 45 degrees, everything looks really great. But check this out here at 45 degrees, the player's sword is split in two. So all I gotta do is figure out how to get it to 45 degrees and then treat, um, so when the character's facing, so let's say the camera's rotated by 45 degrees like that, and then the character is facing straight down that's exactly the same as um, the zero degree camera angle at a 45 degree uh, model rotation. So I can, I think I can combine um, those, those two things, like the camera rotation with the model rotation, or treat treat like model rotation as if it weren't even happening at a certain camera angle. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm having trouble trying to explain this, but uh, um, I think it could be done to have a really clean, pixel perfect uh, voxel engine. So, lots of work left to do, but this is um, once again really exciting. I thought I had fixed that leaving behind some pixels issue, but I guess not. Uh, but as far as the code goes, this is really um, this is hard for me to try and describe what's going on here. <laughs> I actually don't know exactly how this camera offset I got to work. Basically I thought of it as a, a vector from the center of the arena and then rotated by the current camera angle and then put back into um, origin relative coordinates and they multiplied by negative one somehow and this magically makes all 90 degree camera angles work for a this to have the right camera offset. And then so I'm trying to do some, this is some janky math right here that I'm trying to blend together the two angles or the offsets between two angles for those 
uh, um, random angles like 20 degrees, 15 degrees, those angles between 0 and 45. I'm just trying to blend two offsets together, and it's not quite working. So I, I know there's – this is – all this right here, this is the key to making this all work, is having the right camera offset depending on the right – depending on the camera um, position in 3D, the camera rotation in 3D. It's, this is all the math I, I don't even quite understand. I drew a map, I drew a picture today of the arena with it rotated and um, 2D coordinates and 3D coordinates and I stepped through all this code so slowly trying to understand what the heck is going on but um, it'll, it'll eventually come to me. So eventually this code won't be so dirty and eventually it will work for those random angles and um, that's basically it. So Yeah, I think I covered the rest of this in a different video. All right. So um, thanks for watching the video. This is how things are going with Low Dragger. And I'm really excited to get the, like I was just talking about earlier, I was really excited to get the camera rotating and as smooth. Right now it just goes hard from 0 to 45, you know, or 0 to 45. And um, I'd like it to smoothly do an ease movement to go from one angle to another. That's going to require not only getting all the math to be perfect, right, like I was just showing you there with the camera offset, but also making it fast enough. Right now, it actually it actually will slow down quite a bit as it switches angles because it has to re-rotate all the, the models and uh, re-project all the pixel positions for the models so that it's all prepped and ready to go for the quickest 3D to 2D voxel drawing possible. So, so there's an issue there too. I've got to get it to be faster as well as more accurate and able to, in order for it to do a smooth rotation on the fly, dynamically, during play. So, so yeah, that, that's now it for this video once again. Thanks for watching.